Hi, this is Vicki Romaine with Cheerful Greetings, and today we will make a, a card that uses a mask. And this is the mask I'm going to be using. It matches this card, and the uh, excuse me, it matches this um, stamp, and the stamp is from Stamplan. A lot of their stamps have masks, and this is the one I'm going to be using today. I'm going to be taking my light blue ink. First, I'm going to tape down my paper here. I want to keep it from moving around. And uh, I'm just using it to protect my surface. Okay, now I'm going to use a light blue and put, have my mask in the corner. And I'm just dabbing around it with my uh, Buffy brush. This is a stiff brush, which makes it easy to put light shades and then gradually darken them. I put my mask on in different directions. I even have it going off the page. And the purpose of this is to put some background color on my card without completely covering it. And I'm turning my card around so I can get it in different directions. And my background now it looks like a bunch of clouds that was made with that flower mask. Next, I'm going to take the stamp itself and I'm going to put salvia blue, which is a little darker blue, on my stamp. I'm going to start in the corner. And I will put this, I will stamp right next to it and a little over the other one so it doesn't look like individual stamps. And plus, I'm turning my stamp around. I'm also going to have some of my flowers going off the page. kind of filling in in some of the areas that uh, were lighter. Because I want my stamp to be a continuous flow of flowers. Now, if you will notice, I've left one area fairly light. And that's where I'm going to put my sentiment. I'm going to put my sentiment in brilliant blue. This is a Stamping Up ink. The other two inks were Marvy inks.
this stamp um, is an Inca, um, Inca Dinka do stamp and um, it says flowers are like friends they take time to grow and I'm gonna put this right where this is a light spot in the color in the colors in the blue colors and here is my card flowers are friends they take time to grow and that's it a very simple card but i'm not finished yet i've got to get my stickles and um i will put a little bling on my card okay i have my stickles here it's called diamond and I am putting some on the centers of each of the flowers this will make the flowers pop and give a little bling to the card Here's my finished card, and it has the bling. And when it dries, it will shine a little more, and it won't be as puffy. I hope you liked this, this tutorial. If you did, please come back and see me and see what, I, what I'm going to show you next. Have a great crafting day, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.